Today, we'll discuss about the origin of bone and the process of osteogenesis. This is how the bones are formed actually. This is the embryo. The embryo derived from the three germ layers. Outermost layer is the ectoderm. The middle layer is the mesoderm. Innermost is the endoderm. So from this, the middle layer basoderm, okay, the mesenchymal tissue is derived, okay, that contains the primitive mesenchymal cells, okay. So these cells are involved in the bone formation. So accordingly, there are two types of bone based on their development. First is the membrane or membranous bone. They develop from the fibrous tissue, that condensed mesenchymal tissue or the primitive connective tissue, like bones of the sides and the roof of the cranium, most of the facial bones, cartilage bone, they develop from a preformed, pre-existing hyaline cartilage model, like bones of the limbs, vertebral column, pelvis, ribs, then ossification or osteogenesis. Ossification or osteogenesis is the biological process by which bone is formed. It involves bone producing cells called osteoblast. But calcification is different. What is calcification? Calcification is simply a deposition of calcium salt. It is a part of ossification but not the same as ossification. There are two types of ossification actually. One is the intramembranous or mesenchymal ossification. Number two, endochondrial or intracartilaginous ossification. So first we discuss about the intramembranous ossification. So here bone forms in a membranous layer formed by the condensation of the mesenchymal tissue, the primitive connective tissue. The bone developed by this method are termed as membranous bones. Example, a flat bones of the cranial cavity and the face. Okay, so you can see. So these are the your mesenchymal tissue. Okay. So from this, the bone develop. There are several steps in the process of intramembranous ossification. The first step is the, we'll discuss one by one. The first step is the development of ossification center. Number two, formation of osteoid or bony matrix. Number three, calcification of matrix. Number four, formation of trabeculi, spicules, bony spicules. Number five, development of periosteum and a compact bone. Step, first step, development of ossification center. Okay. Mesenchymal cells differentiate into osteoblast at specific points called ossification centers. So now you can see. So these are the mesenchymal cells. Okay. At specific point, they become osteoblast. Okay. Mesenchymal, these are the mesenchymal cells you can see. They are differentiated into the osteoblast cells, the immature bone cells. And this area is called the ossification center. This area is called ossification center. Means That means from this point, ossification will start, bone formation start. Number two, formation of osteoid bone matrix. Okay. Osteoblast secrete osteoid, a non-calcified matrix made up of collagen fibers, mucopolysaccharides, glycoproteins. Okay. So now, the so first, so this is the ossification center area. Okay. Now what happened? So these are the osteoblast cells. So now they secrete various chemicals. Okay. Uh, like your collagen fibers, mucopolysaccharides, glycoproteins, they secrete. Okay. And now it becomes your what? Osteoid. A non-calcified matrix. Means here you will not find the calcium salt. Only organic substances are there. Clear? Yeah. Like you will find collagen fiber, you will find mucopolysaccharide, you will find glycoproteins, you will find. It becomes vascularized by capillary network. So now you can see, you will also find the blood capillaries to supply blood in this area. Okay? So this area is called your osteoid. Okay? Non-calcified matrix. Matrix without having calcium salt. Third, Calcification of matrix. The osteoid gets calcified, trapping some osteoblast, which transform into osteocytes, mature bone cells. 
ओके तो नाउ यू कैन सी तो नाउ यू कैन सी तो इनिशियल इट वॉज द ऑस्टिड मीन्स विदाउट कैल्सिफिकेशन नाउ हियर यू विल फाइन द डिपोजिशन ऑफ कैल्शियम सॉल्ट ओके दैट मीन्स नाउ द ऑस्टिड बिकम्स कैल्सिफाइड यू कैन सी इनिशियल इट वॉज द ऑस्टिड इनिशियली द मैट्रिक्स वॉज ऑस्टिड इट वॉज नॉन कैल्सिफाइड बट नाउ इट बी इट बिकम्स कैल्सिफाइड ओके द ऑस्टिड गेट्स कैल्सिफाइड मीन्स इन द ऑस्टिड देयर इज द डिपोजिशन ऑफ द कैल्शियम सॉल्ट तो द ऑस्टिड बिकम्स कैल्सिफाइड ट्रेपिंग सो मोस्टिव ब्लास्ट तो नाउ दे विल ट्रैप सो मोस्टिव ब्लास्ट ओके एंड दूज ऑस्टिव ब्लास्ट दे बिकम नाउ ऑस्टियोसाइट्स ओके द मेच्योर बोन सेल्स अदर ऑस्टियो ब्लास्ट प्रोलिफोरेट एंड आर अरेज रेडियली फ्रॉम ऑसिफिकेशन सेंटर तो नाउ यू कैन सी दीज आर द रेडियली अरेज ऑस्टियो ब्लास्ट ओके दे आर रेडिएटिंग फ्रॉम द ऑसिफिकेशन सेंटर नंबर फोर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बोनी ट्राबिकुलर स्पीक्यूल्स The calcified matrix forms trabeculae, bony spicules, which fuse to form a cancellous or spongy bone network. Okay, now initially it was the calcified matrix. Now they fuse with each other. Okay, and they form the bony spicules, bony trabeculae, and they further fuse, and they form your what? Cancellous bone or spongy bone. You can see these are the trabeculae. Okay. Spongy bone. Then development of periosteum and a compact bone. Okay. Outer mesenchyme condenses to form periosteum. Okay. So on the outer side you will find that mesenchymal tissue. Now they condensed. Okay, and they form the periosteum. They form the periosteum. Okay. Osteoblast under periosteum continue depositing bone forming compact bone. That means. So these are the osteoblast. Okay, so they continuously what? Okay, ah, uh, they secrete. Okay, and they form the bone. Okay, and now that bone become the compact bone. This on the inner side you will find the spongy bone. Now to to this you will find deposition of the compact bone by the osteoblast cells. Okay, key point. Bone grows in diameter by continuous addition beneath the periosteum. It is called sub periosteum. ossification next endochondral or chondrial or intracartilaginous ossification bone forms by replacing a pre-existing hyaline cartilage model bones developed by this method are termed as the cartilaginous bones like bones of the appendicular skeleton long bones humerus femur vertebral column pelvis ribs you can see so this is a preformed cartilaginous model okay it is a cartilaginous model it is made up of hyaline cartilage now it become transform into a your well developed bone okay so this method is called your endochondral or intracartilaginous ossification means bone develop from a pre formed or pre existing hyaline cartilage model stages of the endochondral ossification stage 1 formation of cartilage model and a primary ossification center So you can see this is a cartilage model. Bone formation begins with the cartilage model formed from condensed mesenchymal tissue surrounded by perichondrium. Okay, so the condensed mesenchymal tissue they form a your cartilage model. It is surrounded by the membrane that is called perichondrium. In the center, cartilage cells or chondroblast multiply and enlarge. Okay, it is called hypertrophy, producing alkaline phosphatase that causes calcium to deposit in the matrix. At the center, you can see. In the center, you can see these are the cells. Okay, so these are the cartilage cells. They multiply and they become enlarged in their size. This is called hypertrophy of the cartilage cells. And what they produce? They produce the enzyme alkaline phosphatase, and this enzyme will cause what? deposition of calcium in this matrix okay now here there will be the deposition of calcium in the matrix clear then this calcification kills the cartilage cell is what happen now due to the deposition of calcium salt okay now the cartilage cells they die this calcification is the cartilage cells 
forming species called primary areolae. So now, when the catalyst cells die, okay, so now you can see the space you can see. So this vacant space is called, they are called primary areolae. And they become the primary ossification center. Means from this point, bone formation starts. This calcification kills the catalyst cells, forming species called primary areolae, marking the primary ossification center. At the same time, osteoblasts from the inner perichondrium form a bone cola and the perichondrium becomes periosteum. At the same time, what happened? In the, at the inner layer of the perichondrium. Okay, here. So you can see uh, this out, you can see this is the outermost layer of the perichondrium. And in the inner layer, what you will find? You will find osteoblast cells. Okay. And they form bone collar or collar bone. So this part. So this part is called bone collar or collar bone. It is formed by the osteoblast from the inner perichondrium. And after that, what happened? It becomes periosteum. Okay. After that, what happened? When this is the bone collar, so after the formation of this bone collar, now the outermost layer become periosteum. Okay, initially it was the perichondrium. But after the bone collar formation, it becomes the periosteum. Stage 2, invasion by the periosteal birds. The bone collar is eroded, destroyed by osteoclast. Next, subperiosteal osteoclast break down the bone collar allowing periosteal buds containing osteoblast, osteoclast and blood vessel to enter the primary ossification center. Okay. So now you can see. So initially, we just discussed that this is the bone collar. This is the bone collar. Okay. Now this bone collar is destroyed by subperiosteal osteoclast. Means below the periosteum. Okay below the periosteum what happened so the layer become the periosteum so below the periosteum you will find sub periosteal osteoclast and osteoclast are the bone destroying cells okay so they destroy this bone collar they destroy this bone collar so now so now the bone collar is not there so what happened now so now the easily the periosteal buds means from the periosteum the buds you can see these are the periosteal buds initially at this point there was a bone collar okay the buds they cannot enter but what happened now uh, that bone collar is destroyed by the subperiosteal osteoclast okay so now there is no bone collar so now easily what happened the periosteal buds okay they enter here enter into this primary ossification center okay this periosteal buds what they contain they contain again osteoblast osteoclast blood vessels okay and now they enter into this primary ossification center. Now the osteoclast resolve the calcified catalyst for a larger space called secondary areola. Okay. So now what happened? So the osteoclast cells, what happen? They resorb, they destroy the calcified catalyst here and the area become enlarged. Okay. And now they are called the secondary areola. Initially it was the primary areola and now they become the secondary areolae and they fuse they merge to form the marrow cavity that will contain the bone marrow phase 3 true bone formation now longitudinal groups form on the outer bony surface and the ridges grow around blood vessel to form the tunnels okay so now if you see here in this area you can see you can find the longitudinal groups okay you can find the so these are the longitudinal groups Okay, now this longitudinal group they develop. Okay, on the outer bony surface, and their ridges okay they overlap with each other. The ridges they overlap each other. Okay, around this blood vessels. Okay, osteoblast lining these tunnels create haversian system osteons as they mature into osteocytes. Here, yeah. osteoblast lining these tunnels. Okay, so in this now they become a tunnel. When these edges they merge each other, so now they become the tunnel. The so tunnel containing the blood vessels. Now inside this tunnel, you will find the osteoblast. Okay. And now this osteoblast, they create haversian systems, osteons, as they mature into osteocytes. And now you will get a true bone like this. 
Sometimes you may get confused regarding the secondary ossification center. So there is a more clarity. Secondary ossification centers appear in the epiphysis ends of the long bones. You can see here. So here you will find the secondary ossification centers. Ossification proceeds similar to the primary center but does not create marrow cavity. So here you will not find any marrow cavity. Instead you will find bony trabeculae and filled with the red bone marrow. Okay. Growth in oat. Length. Occurs at the epiphyseal cartilages. It's located between the epiphysis and the diaphysis. Okay. So now you can see these are the epiphyseal cartilages. Okay. So the length wise or the longitudinal growth of the bone occurs due to the growth or development in the epiphyseal cartilage. Bone grows in length until this cartilage is fully ossified and the growth will stop at the maturity. Means then the width or thickness okay, grows by subperiosteal intramembranous ossification. New bone is deposited under the periosteum. It will increase your what? Width or thickness of the bone. 